The Meteor is a next-generation air-to-air missile, BVRM, rocket system designed for revolutionary air-to-air -air combat. Equipped with an advanced active radar seeker, the Meteor provides all-weather capability to engage a wide range of targets, from maneuverable fast aircraft to small unmanned aerial vehicles and cruise missiles. It is designed to meet the most stringent requirements and operate in environments with strong interference and countermeasures. The impressive characteristics of the Meteor are achieved through its unique ramjet propulsion system, a solid fuel adjustable flow ducted rocket. This ramjet engine provides continuous thrust to the missile throughout its target interception, delivering the largest no escape zone for any air to air missile. To ensure complete target engagement, the missile is equipped with both impact and proximity fuses, as well as a fragmentation warhead that detonates upon impact or at the optimal intercept point to maximize lethality. Thanks to its advanced active radar seeker, the Meteor engages current and future airborne targets, from fast aircraft to UAVs and cruise missiles day and night, in any weather conditions and in challenging electronic warfare environments. The Meteor operates within a network using a two-way data link. With its data link capability, the Meteor meets the requirements of networked warfare. It can be guided using external data, providing the Meteor user, the pilot, with the most flexible weapon system. The Meteor will be equipped on Eurofighter Typhoon, Rafale, and Gripen fighters. It is also compatible with other advanced fighters, including the F-35 Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter. Meteor has secured a place in the follow-on test and evaluation program by the F-35 Joint Program Office, and contracts were signed with Lockheed Martin in early summer. However, operational deployment is not expected until 2027, and there is a possibility that integration pressures within the program may lead to further delays due to issues in the broader F-35 program. Capable of engaging air targets day and night, and in any weather conditions, the Meteor will complement the existing Typhoon missile systems, providing pilots with a wider choice of weapons during combat. The RIM-7 Sea Sparrow surface-to-air missile system by Raytheon quickly achieved significant success, serving the U.S. Navy and many Allied navies after its initial deployment 45 years ago. One NATO ally in particular equipped its class of surface combatants with the Sea Sparrow launcher, which was comically eccentric and presumed to be highly ineffective. These ships were the Canadian Iroquois-class destroyers, also known as the Tribal Class. The RIM-7 was developed as a point defense system for rapid response, used to counter incoming anti-ship missiles and aircraft, some of which could pop up low and fast over the water with little warning. Its range was limited to a dozen miles, but in reality, it was often significantly less depending on interception parameters, conditions, and the rocket and fire control system model. From box launchers with manual guidance to automatic ones like the MK-29, still in use today, to vertical launch variants, the Sea Sparrow was adapted to a variety of launch methods. Four Iroquois-class destroyers were commissioned between 1972 and 1973, and they all served until 2005, with the last one decommissioned two years ago in 2017. They were equipped with the MK-3C Sparrow system installed inside their bow structure, with doors opening on each side, and hangar-like rotary arm launchers carrying four missiles each, eight in total, four on each side, that extended from a peculiar garage-like housing hanging off the ship's side when ready. A total of 32 missiles were carried, with 12 ready on each side, but reloading the entire system was a slow process. Moreover, it is said that the Holland's Signal MiG-22 weapon control system did not quite live up to its intended task, and simply deploying the missiles and warming up their guidance systems could take several minutes or more. All of this was far from ideal for a rapid response point defense system capable of quickly countering anti-ship missiles flying over the sea, appearing from the horizon without warning. Ultimately, the peculiar Sea Sparrow system was replaced as part of a deep modernization of these ships known as the Tribal Refit and Update Modernization Program, TRUMP, which would provide them with a range of enhanced capabilities, including a true anti-air warfare capability through the installation of the Mark 41 Vertical Launch System. It featured 29 cells that could accommodate standard SM-2 missiles. The standard SM-2 missile was developed based on its predecessor, the standard SM-1, and was introduced into service in 1978. 
It has the capability of controlled flight using an inertial navigation system with an active radar homing seeker. The missile is equipped with a radar for target detection and a fire control system for guidance and control during flight. The standard SM-2 has several variants, including the SM-2 Block 2, Block 3, Block 4, and others. They differ in characteristics and capabilities such as flight range and the ability to engage targets at various altitudes and speeds. The standard SM-2 has a flight range of 50 to 200 kilometers, depending on the version, and can reach speeds of about Mach 3. These missiles have been widely used by the military forces of various countries, including the U.S. Navy and their allies, for air defense purposes. The standard SM-2 remains an important component of air defense systems in many countries, providing protection against airborne threats during operations and missions. Over time, the standard SM-2 missiles have been continuously improved and upgraded to enhance their effectiveness. Some of the enhancements include improved guidance systems, more accurate homing capabilities, increased reliability, and improved anti-maneuvering capabilities. The main competitors of the standard SM-2 missile are the Aster-15 and Aster-30 missiles. The Aster-15 and Aster-30 missiles are surface-to-air missiles developed and produced by the European company MBDA. They are designed for air defense and are integral components of air target detection and destruction systems. The Aster-15 and Aster-30 missiles are installed on military ships of various classes, including destroyers, frigates, aircraft carriers, etc., to provide protection against airborne threats. They can be integrated into the ship's fire control and radar systems, ensuring high effectiveness of air defense. The Aster missiles can also be deployed on ground-based platforms, such as stationary air defense missile complexes. They can be used to defend strategic objects, military bases, airfields, and other important locations, providing protection against airborne threats. Additionally, they have the capability to engage not only airborne targets, but also medium-range ballistic missiles, making them versatile and enhancing their significance in air defense systems. An important feature of the Aster-15 and Aster-30 missiles is their ability to maneuver during flight to bypass obstacles and increase the probability of target engagement. Furthermore, the Aster system has good capabilities for target detection and tracking, as well as high resistance to jamming and the ability to simultaneously engage multiple targets. The Aster-15 and Aster-30 missiles continue to evolve and improve to maintain their effectiveness in the face of changing airborne threats and remain an important component of air defense systems in many countries. Barak, another versatile missile system. The Barak missile system is an Israeli medium-range, surface-to-air missile system developed and produced by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. It is designed for defense against airborne threats and can engage aerial targets at medium and high altitudes. Barak missiles have a flight range of 10 to 100 kilometers, depending on the version. They can reach speeds of approximately Mach 2 and can engage aerial targets at altitudes of up to 20 kilometers. Barak missiles possess good maneuverability and accuracy due to their ability to perform mid-flight maneuvers. Barak missiles are equipped with an active radar seeker head for self-guidance. They utilize a radar system for target detection, tracking, and guidance. This enables them to achieve high precision in engaging targets, even in the presence of active countermeasures. Barak missiles are capable of engaging various airborne targets, including aircraft, helicopters, unmanned aerial vehicles, and cruise missiles. They can also perform anti-ballistic missile defense and have the ability to engage ballistic targets. The Barak system has several versions, including Barak 1, Barak 8, and others. Each version has its own enhanced features and capabilities. For example, Barak 8 is a more advanced version with a flight range of up to 70 kilometers and the ability to engage ballistic targets. The Barak missile system represents a modern and effective solution for air defense providing protection against airborne threats at medium and high altitudes with high precision and maneuverability. Barak is widely deployed on naval vessels, including destroyers and frigates, as well as on land-based platforms. It serves as an integral part of Israel's air defense and is exported to other countries. Barak has been successfully used in real combat situations and has proven its effectiveness. Thank you for watching until the end. Subscribe to our channel and see you next time.